Okay, so I hold in my hand a package, well it's empty now, of peas and carrots. I added a, um, one bag of frozen peas and carrots. I've already pulled the chicken from the bones and shredded it a little bit, but I like it to be kind of chunky because, you know, you don't want like little strings of, of chicken. That to me is the most annoying thing when somebody calls something chicken soup. You know, the chicken is supposed to be the star. So you don't want something this small, right? Like that much chicken floating throughout the soup. Just a bunch of little shreds like that and somebody calling it chicken soup. You're going to feel cheated, you know? So you want nice, thick, good pieces of chicken. And you can clearly tell, okay, this is chicken soup. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you can see, like I said, I roasted it before, so it's very tender. And I'm not going to cook it anymore because it's completely cooked now. I don't know if people realize this, but you can overcook chicken even if you are making it in a broth, like a soup or smothered chicken or stewed chicken or whatever. You still can overcook chicken and it can still be dry. You want your chicken to still have some... Um, moisture to it so i roasted it for about 30 minutes then i boiled it a whole chicken so it still had all the skin and the bones which means that it kept a lot of the natural oils and moisture in it and then i peeled it off at the end so i'm not this is my pot right here it's going for the chicken soup like i said i added the carrots and peas and when I looked at this, I was like, wait, where's all the carrots? But I realized the bag says peas and carrots, which means there are more peas than carrots. Even though the picture makes it look as if it's an even amount of peas and carrots, the words peas, which means peas are, are more peas than carrots. And that sucks because I really like carrots in my soup. And I don't actually have fresh carrots here at my house i need to go shopping so i got this bag real quick because i was just like okay just pick up something quick you know to throw into the chicken soup but guys look it's not that much carrots Ugh. it's all right we'll be fine we'll survive i'm sure but anyway also here is uh, under the chicken bowl is my chicken bones and leftover um, veggies that cooked with it in the initial boil um, and then there's some fresh veggies in there as well that I had left over and this is going to be um, chicken stock slash broth that I'm going to make after I done actually making the chicken soup and then the chicken broth will be used um, to put in anything I need chicken broth for alright and that's how you kill two birds with one stone you heard me so anyway i'm just gonna let this boil down a little bit because i want my onions and my celery to be soft okay um and once it gets soft then i'm gonna add the chicken back in and turn turn it off because I, again i don't want the chicken to cook overcook all right so i'm gonna turn it off but the liquid is still going to be hot so you have to like you know consider all of that all right, guys, but right now we're on, like, a pretty high boil, so I'm going to keep, I'm actually going to keep it high. I was going to turn it down. I'm actually going to keep it high because I want the liquid to kind of uh, reduce, so that way the um, soup itself won't be, well, you know, chicken soup, the, the broth is thin, but, you know, if it reduces at least by half or, or even third, it will still make it like more a little thicker and more flavorful so we're going to leave that at a light a nice high boil it's really at medium high the temperature of the fire and uh we're going to let it reduce a little bit we're going to add our chicken and we're going to make our grilled cheese and we're going to have dinner by 8 30. all right guys chef charlie out